Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a empties slash project pan slash haul kind of video. <laughs> I think I'm gonna not do straight up empties videos anymore mainly because number one I don't want to keep the trash around for that long and number two because while I'm waiting to accumulate enough trash to make a video I sometimes forget what I want to tell you guys about the product because a lot of time passes and things that aren't like super important to life my brain allows me to forget I I'm my my brain just lets it go so after a bunch of weeks have gone by for a product that I maybe haven't used in a while, you know, that I or that I stopped using weeks ago, I I just don't remember stuff about it anymore. Like I don't remember how it smelled anymore, or I don't remember little things that I would normally want to tell you. So I feel like if I do it this way, less time will have passed since I used it, so I'll really remember more what I want to tell you about it. Also, um, I don't do Project Pan the way everybody else does Project Pan because it doesn't work for them. When you really watch, most people are not, their expectations on how quickly they can finish things up are not anywhere close to realistic. And so, and they're not doing it the way it was originally designed when Lollipop 26 came up with the Project Pan idea. Um, you know, nobody's doing it the way she originally set it up, which was a way that worked. Um, and I, I project pan as a part of my lifestyle and always have like since forever. And so this is how I do it. And so I, I'm not going to change how I do it just to fit a video mold. I'm going to show you how I really do it and what really works. Okay. So I can combine my project pan in with my empties because they, are partially the same thing so I don't want to repeat myself about the same product in two different videos either and then it's kind of a haul because when I empty something I generally replace it with something either with the same thing or with something else so in combination with my empties I am replacing products because you know if you run out of shampoo you still need to wash your hair so you still need shampoo right so um, when I empty a product, I generally replace it. And this is just a really easy, smart way for me to show you, oh, hey, here's what I'm replacing it with. So not only am I telling you, yes, I would use it again, but here I'm showing you, yes, I am in fact using it again. Or yes, I would use it again, but I'm doing something different right now and here's why. Or no, I would not use this again. And look, here's the proof. I'm not using it again. Okay. So little different. I'm, I'm doing things different, but you guys know, if you've been following me forever, you guys know that I don't like to do things the way everybody else does them because that's not original. And my name would not be original slushy if I did everything the same way everybody else does. <laughs> so you should expect this from me. <laughs> if you know me, you know that I like to shirk the system almost all the time. Um, <laughs> okay. So the first thing that I finished up is my Avon Skin So Soft Firm and Restore Age Defying Corrective Neck and Chest Cream. This has SPF 15 sunscreen in it. You guys have heard me talk about this a million times. This is my holy grail neck and chest cream. So I, what you do is you take a single pump, you just, you just depress this all the way down. You get a glop in your hand that's probably a little bigger than a nickel. Um, I rub my hands together, I smear it all over my chest, I go up around my neck, and if I have excess, I go down over my shoulders and over, over my back. So the SPF in it helps to keep your decollete protected from future sun damage. Um, and it has properties in it that help to fade away old skin damage, which I had a lot of old sun damage. and interestingly I have this sort of line of demarcation I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera but well you can kind of see it right there where this part is kind of 
you know, bleached and nicer, and this part still has all of my, you know, 40 years of terrible spending too much time in the sun habits, right? Um, it, it definitely works. So, and this is how people, when people look at me, I have people that still think that I'm 20 something a lot of the time. If they don't think I'm 20 something, it would be because of this. <laughs> okay. Um, th this is what gives my age away, or at least bumps me up in to where they're like, yeah, you're probably in your thirties, maybe 35, whatever. Well, I'm going to be 41 in like a week and a half ish, right around two weeks, I guess. So I'm no spring chicken. Um, so this stuff really works. I love it and it's affordable. Uh, so I have purchased it again and I will continue to purchase it again. And I don't even try other products because when you search for neck and chest creams, specifically creams specifically designed for the neck and the chest, they are obscenely expensive. I mean, I, I forget now if it's Olay or L'Oreal. One of the two has a version that's in the like $20-ish range. I want to say like 26 or something, maybe somewhere around in there, or 16 maybe, but more expensive than this. Um, but it's impossible to find. I can't ever find it anywhere to try it. So, you know, I, I did actually go out to look for it and hunt it down so that I could try it, so I could compare it to this in the past, and I can't ever find it anywhere. The next most affordable product that I could find was like 200 and some dollars. And I'm like, that's so stupid. No, this stuff works really well. It does what it's supposed to. When I put it on, it leaves my skin like just glowy and healthy looking. It just, it has this sort of iridescence to it that makes you look, your skin just look really healthy and sort of radiant. And that probably doesn't pick up on camera, but there is like, um, like a shine. There's just a youth to your skin. And then usually when I, when I replace something from a brand, I like a lot of times I'll buy my replacement item and then I will also buy one item from the same brand that I have never tried yet or I haven't used before so that I can try it out. So when I bought this, um, I also was looking for a product that I haven't tried yet. And of course this is Avon. So you guys know that I've tried, I've used a lot of Avon, right? <laughs> but this is something I haven't used yet. So I decided to get one. This is the Avon Skin So Soft Supreme Nourishment creamy body wash and this also this has macadamia in it um so it's you know it's a shower gel it's a cream it's one of the creamy body washes so it's a little thicker you know like traditional shower gels are kind of see-through they're kind of clear usually um sort of like a hand soap so this is one of the creamier ones that looks more like a lotion okay so um I'm gonna give this a try if you've tried this before then tell me what you think about it I'm I'm getting a lot of good responses from my customers who have used this. And if you're interested in trying either of these, you can, I do always keep a link to my website down below. I would appreciate um, you shopping with me on my website if I'm the person who is introducing these products to you because why give credit to somebody who's not doing the work, right? So this is how I pay my bills. So if you, know, if you would be supportive of that, I would appreciate it. Because if you guys supported that a lot, then I could probably make more videos more often. Hint, hint. So this is what I bought to to also try. So you probably will hear me talking about this at some point down the line because I'm going to actually take the shower gel that I currently have. You guys hear my tummy rumbling? I haven't had anything to eat yet today and it is 121. So I probably should get around to doing that. Sorry, my chair is squeaky. Anyway, so I'm actually gonna, the shower gel that I'm currently using in the shower, I'm gonna take out and put this in and give this a whirl and see what it does. Okay, the next item that I deadpanned or finished up my next empties, my cat meowing at me, um, is the Avon Skin So Soft DD Body Cream. This is the Firm and Restore version. So same, same line as this. Um, this also has a broad spectrum SPF 15 in it. So after I get out of the shower, um, when I get to my body care portion of my routine, this, I generally, I'm, I'm lazy about lotion, <laughs> about my body lotion. I don't body lotion my whole body. I do my arms 
Um, I do kind of right around this area and whatever I have left over, I kind of smear around the body. And then I do whatever portion of my legs I shaved that morning. Um, I don't shave my full leg every day because my hair just doesn't grow quite that fast. And honestly, I just don't want to take that much time <laughs> every day. I just don't have that kind of time. So I do half, like I do half one day and like, so I do my from right above the knee down one day and then I do from right above the knee up the next day and I just go back and forth and that usually works. I mean, by the end of the second day, the, the half that I didn't do is getting a little bit stubbly, but it's not, you know, it's nothing horrible. So whatever portion I shaved that morning, I slather up with this too. That's just, that's just my lotion routine. Um, for every day. If I were doing something very like special, if I had a special event or something, I might slather up the rest of me, but more than likely not <laughs> because I'm 41 and I don't care that much about that kind of thing anymore. <laughs> so, um, I did purchase another one and I, I left it in my bathroom. Simba hush. I left it in my bathroom, but I do have another one. But in the meantime, I wanted to project pan. Here's where my project pan thing is coming in. I'm not project panning anything here because I don't have another version of this to try, like I said, because they're too expensive and I, and I can't find them and or I can't find them. But body lotion is easy to find. It's everywhere. Um, so I'm going to dead pan or I'm going to project pan um, a lotion that I've had around for a while. This is one of the Avon Naturals body lotions. This is the renewing version. Um, and the scent is mango and passion fruit. So this was like a seasonal scent, um, a while back and you can't, you can't get the scent anymore. I mean, if you can, it's going to be on eBay and it's going to be old. Um, this does have a fruity scent to it. It's kind of mild. It's, it's, it's not necessarily my favorite. A mango is not really my favorite scent either, even with citrus. I do love citrus scents, but anyway, and I don't know what passion fruit, fruit smells like. Are supposed to smell like but it changes the mango it brings the mango down a little bit but anyway so it's just one that I've had for a long time so this is one I'm going to use up and obviously I can't repurchase it because it's because it's a discontinued fragrance so um you know I, what will happen is when this is gone I will open my new bottle of this and start using it and then because I wanted to, like I said, when I, when I purchase something from a brand, I usually am replacing one thing and then I like to try something new that I've never tried before. So what I picked up that I've never tried before is the Avon Skin So Soft Fresh and Smooth Sensitive Skin with Meadow Foam Bikini Line Hair Removal Cream. <laughs> okay, so hair removal cream, I mean, I've used Nair maybe like twice in my life. Um, I've used hair removal cream. I've used the Avon hair removal cream for the face before a handful of times. Um, I've never used their cream, like their regular body hair removal cream, and I've never used the bikini line hair removal cream. Um, and I've always hesitated buying these because I just don't use hair removal creams. I'm one of those where I, I just don't want to take the time to wait for it to work. I would much rather just grab, grab a razor and shave off whatever is bothering me. So you know, chin whiskers or mustache hairs or, you know, sideburns or whatever. I mean, I just shave it off and go. Um, just because I don't want to take the time to wait. Part of why I don't like to take the time to wait is because I have to wash my hair every single day. I cannot go without washing my hair. Um, so my daily routine already takes 30 to 45 minutes, no matter what, whether, and that's without putting on makeup or actually doing your hair. That's just taking the shower, you know, blowing the hair dry, getting dressed. That's just the basics, you know, with the body lotion and whatnot. So, um, things like this, I just never take the time to do. So I want to make myself, you know, try this out, test this out and see, because I do shave, you know, the bikini area and, you know, you know, you know, um, I keep everything clean. So I do want to test this out at some point. Um, I don't know how much I'll reach for it though. It, because I'm not, I'm just not, I'm just a razor girl. I just shave, just shave, whatever. <laughs> just cut it off. Just cut it off. Um, and I'm good about maintaining that. So, so we'll see. I'm actually, I'm actually going to have to let my hair, I'm actually going to have to back off of my shaving and let it grow a little bit so that I can try this out. 
now I'm gonna think about it, but I wanted to try it because I have used the face cream and I do like the one for the face. Um, it does work really well and I like it and I like, I like the results and um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't grow back real quickly. So I just wanted to try one of the body ones and see see how they work. I do have people that use the ones, I, I'm sure they're using it for their legs, probably, maybe their arms, but, um, and, and they really like it and repurchase it. So it is a good product for somebody who uses the cream products. It is a good product. I, I already know without trying it because the other ones are good. So this one just happens to be more sensitive because it's for a more sensitive space on the body. Okay, so that is my empty slash project pan slash haulage update for now. Um, and what I'm going to do next, my next video, is I'm going to actually talk in more detail about my body care routine. I'm going to kind of show you what I do from start to finish when I get out of the shower. Just for the body stuff, okay? So... I'll see you for that next time. Let me know what you're using for all this kind of stuff down in the comments below. This is like very sprinkling. I'm very sprinkling you goodbye. <laughs>